Hello and welcome to Agile Tech channel. My name is Christian Drieling. I'm senior systems engineer at Agile Technology. And in this video, I want to show you how our body update is working. What are we going to see in this video? First, I will show you how to configure the body update process on the devices. And the next step will be to roll out the body update to the clients. First, let's take a look to the clients. This one here will be my body server that's hosting the firmware update for the other clients. So let's take a look. It's firmware version 509100. That's the actual version. And that do we want to use for the other clients. Let's take a look to the client here. He will take the firmware update from him. And now he has 508200. So it's time for a firmware update. First, you have to know that the firmware that is installed to this client will be the firmware that the other clients will get. So you have to care about his firmware update uh, like a normal thin client, but the version here will be the master. There will not be another firmware hosted on this client. So if we want to do the firmware update with a body update, first we have to configure a profile for the master. I will call it Alex body Oh, body master. And in this profile, I will enable the body update server. So this will enable an FTP server on the client uh, that will act as master. And we can specify username and password if we want to. And we can limit the maximum logins at the same time. So you have to think about it's a thin client and maybe someone is working on it. So we should have a limit around about 10 connections per time is okay. But you shouldn't try to solve 1000 clients with one thin client that is a body master um, because it will be too, too much for this small client. If you limit it to 10 clients, uh, and the 11th client tries to connect, he will be delayed. And then after a few minutes, he can do his update. This is all we have to configure for the master. So I will assign this profile to the client here and say, okay, please do it now. The next thing is that we have to tell the client uh, where he gets his update. And then we go to a new profile and call it LX body client. And if we take a look to our update process, we see that we can do an automatic body detection. So he will scan in the network for a body server. And this, this is the easiest way to perform the update. We can also check the automatic update. So the thin client will scan on his own for body server. And if there's a new update, he will automatically do the update. In this case, I don't want to do this. You can if you want to uh, speci specify the body server here. And also, you, if you used username and password, you can do this here. But this is for this demonstration all I want to do. Uh, now I will assign this profile to this client. After activating these settings, it's important that you have to reboot the body master server uh, that is that he can enable the T FTP server and if necessary to download some firmware files if you don't have these files. So if you deselected firmware features and you enable the body master, then he will perform a firmware update to get all the other features because he don't know what the other clients will expect from him. So that's important to know. Enabling body master means that he will do a firmware update for all the components that he didn't use before. So now let's do a firmware update on our body client. I select update. Uh, let's take a look what's happening on the client. So he starts the firmware update now. We didn't configure anything else. We only said that he should take a look for a body server. Then he's scanning in the network for an FTP server from another thin client that's offering a firmware update. And now he's doing the firmware update that is installed, the firmware that is installed on this server. So there's no difference after the firmware update between 
the firmware between the clients here. That means that you can not deliver another firmware with a body server than the firmware that's installed on the body server. That's important to know. Um, so and now the thin client is rebooting. We did the firmware update, doing a last some last steps. And after this we will see that it will have the same version like this client. So let's take a look to about here we have 509.100.01 and on the body client if we take a look we now have 509.100.01 so you see it's working and of course if you took a look to the videos for the body update you can configure a job um, based on a view. So you can create a new view, selecting some clients. Um, I will just do an easy view here and say, okay, one lane two, one six eight zero. Oh, that's wrong. And one nine two, one six eight zero. If you want to know how the views are working, um, take a look to the video jobs and views there's explained everything so now we have a list of clients only in this specific IP address range and we can create a job um, where we can just say okay on the next shutdown please do the update only for these clients uh, you can do this every day or maybe you only want to do this on Fridays in the morning send this to the client so if Friday in the evening the user shutting down the client he will perform the update and only in the list of clients that we have configured in the view and if we have configured the automatic search for body server here everything is working like a charm and it's working fully automatic Thanks for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our pre-sale support or take a look to Agile Edox. Have a nice day.